Hello. Welcome to Living English. Today, we're looking at directions. How do you ask for directions when you're in a strange city? Remember from last episode, Anne has an appointment with a private detective. Now she has to find his office. Let's see how she goes in today's episode of Sisters and Brothers. Excuse me? Yes. Could you tell me how to get to Mitchell Street? Yes, you're you're going the wrong way. You need to go straight along here, past the silver balls, turn left, and that's the second on the right, opposite the town hall. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Barber's private investigator? Over there, next to the trees. Oh, thank you. Good luck. You'll need it. Come in. Sorry. Yes, any time. Uh, oh, yes, usual rates. Uh, must go now. Uh, right. Uh, goodbye, uh, Ms. Roberts. Uh, Julia, bye. Mr. Barber? John, John, uh, private investigator. Uh, you must be uh, Ms. Lee. Uh, please sit down. What can I do for you, Miss Lee? Could you find him for me? Mm. <laughs> Who is the man in the photograph? We'll find out in the next episode. But first, let's look again at how Anne asks for directions. Excuse me? Oh, yes. Could you tell me how to get to Mitchell Street? Anne says, Excuse me. This is polite because the woman is a stranger. Let's practice that. Make sure you say excuse and not skews. Excuse me. How does Anne ask for directions? Could you tell me how to get to Mitchell Street? Anne asks politely for directions. She says, could you tell me how to get to where she wants to go? Let's try at home with some different places. First, Smith Street. Ask how to get to Smith Street. Could you tell me how to get to Smith Street? The post office. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? The airport. Could you tell me how to get to the airport? Now let's listen to the directions. Yes, you're, you're going the wrong way. You need to go straight along here, past the silver balls, turn left, and that's the second on the right, opposite the town hall. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We'll look at some of those words a bit later. 
Anne asks someone else for directions. Watch how she asks this time. Excuse me? Yes? I'm looking for number 23, Barbara's private investigator. Anne says what she is looking for. She says, I'm looking for number 23. This is the street number. You try saying this with the clip. Excuse me? Yes? I'm looking for number 23. Anne is talking about what she is doing now. She is looking for something. I'm looking for is short for I am looking for. This is called the present continuous tense. We use it for actions which continue. Let's practice. Use I'm looking for with these words. The post office. I'm looking for the post office. The supermarket. I'm looking for the supermarket. Look at what happens when instead of I, we use other words. Anne's looking for number 23. So what's Anne looking for? Answer using she's. She's looking for number 23. What's he looking for? He's looking for number 23. What are you looking for? You're looking for number 23. And what are they looking for? They're looking for number 23. Everybody is looking for number 23. Look at how we write and say these. Say them after me. I'm looking. He's looking. She's looking. It's looking. You're looking. We're looking. They're looking. Notice how we use am with I. I am looking. But we usually say I'm looking. Is is used with he, she and it. He is looking. But we usually say he's looking. Are is used with you, we and they. They are looking. Finally, look at how John asks Anne what she wants. What can I do for you, Miss Lee? He asks what he can do for her. He means, what does she want him to do? Try it home with the clip. What can I do for you, Miss Lee? Come in. Brenton Whittle? You must be Michelle. Please sit down. Thank you. What can I do for you, Michelle? You can help me practice my card trick. Oh, what do I have to do? Pick three cards. Put them face up on the table. So we have an ace, a queen and a ten. Where's the queen? In the middle. The queen is in the middle. Where's the ace? On the left. The ace is on the left. And where's the ten? On the right. The ten is on the right. Now, you try at home. I'll just mix them around a bit. Now, Look at the cards and tell me, where is the ace? That's right. The ace is on the right. 
Where is the 10? The 10 is in the middle. And where is the queen? The queen is on the left. Now, Brenton, I'm going to turn the cards face down and we'll see if you can remember where the queen is. Watch carefully. Now, where's the queen? Hmm. What do you think? Is it on the left, on the right, or in the middle? I think it's on the left. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. no, that's the 10. I think the queen is in the middle. <laughs> Sorry. Let's look again at our episode of Sisters and Brothers and see how many words you can hear describing where things are. You need to go straight along here, past the silver balls, turn left, and that's the second on the right, opposite the town hall. The woman tells Anne to go straight along, that is, don't turn. Then she says it's past the silver balls. It is further along from the silver balls in the same direction. She tells Anne to turn left and then she says it's the second on the right. She means Anne should turn to the right at the second street she comes to. Finally, the woman says it's opposite the town hall. That is, it is directly across the street from the town hall. Look at another part of the story. Over there, next to the trees. Oh. The place Anne is looking for is next to the trees. Now we have some new words to describe where something is. Brenton, I'm going to put another card down here. Mm -hmm. It's a two. Now, where is the two? The two is on the left. Is there another way we can describe where it is? It's next to the Queen. And where is the Queen? The Queen is between the two and the ace. That's right, it's between them. There's a card on one side and another one on the other side of the Queen. Now, there's one more word we heard to help say where something is, but I'll need to put out some more cards. Now, Brenton, how would you describe where the Queen is now? Well, it's between the Ace and the Two, mm -hmm. but it's also opposite the Four. Goodbye till next time. See you later.